Hi, I'm Miles Johnson, and today we're going to talk about how long does a divorce take? So, the Colorado statute has a cooling off period of 91 days. So what that means is if you file on January 1st, as soon as this court can rule on the divorce and make it final is 91 days later. Um, and it's called a cooling off period because it gives parties a chance to make sure that, hey, this is what you really want. What the court doesn't want to do is someone files for a divorce on Monday. On Friday, the court grants the divorce. You're officially divorced. Parties make up over the weekend and, you know, we're doing this all over again um, because they didn't really want to get a divorce. So three months time period, that gives you enough time to know that, yes, you do want to go forward with the divorce um, or you do not. What happens in that three month time period um, are some of the necessary and required steps um, to get to that finish line. Um, a lot of it is involved um, with disclosure, disclosure of information, um, financial information, um, information related to the children, if, if applicable, um, and any sort of information that can have an impact on the case that's pending, such as uh, uh, a pending personal injury suit, right? You'd have to disclose that and we'd have to figure out how we're going to divvy up those proceeds if they do come, right? So I've told you 91 days. Does that mean your divorce is going to take three months? The answer is an emphatic no. Even if we file on January 1st and we do all our disclosures and we reach a settlement agreement that everyone's agreed to and they've signed off on it, for it to end on that day 92, uh, the court's got to be ready with their pen, slides on their desk, they sign off on it, they issue it that day. More than likely, the court's going to be a little busy. So even in our best case scenario, I wouldn't bank it on exactly 91 days you know, give a, a week or two for the court to actually sign off on those um, documents. Um, but other than the situation where we've got a full resolution, what's a realistic time frame for a divorce? I would say somewhere between three months and about a year. There's some situations where the disclosure process, um, the discovery process, the mediation process, the involving of experts process, um, mandates that um, the divorce takes longer. Right? Getting an appraisal on the house, um, that's not always the fastest thing. And sometimes people disagree as to that appraised value. You might have to get a second appraisal. Um, sometimes we have to involve child and family investigators. They typically want 90 days from the date that they're appointed to provide their recommendation. And, um, and after they provide the recommendation, we may need mediation after that. So it's really dependent on what you and your family need um, as to how long a divorce will take.